Welcome to today's five-minute Bible study in the book of 2 Timothy. Today we're looking at 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 9 through 12. You recall that in yesterday's session, we saw that Paul had encouraged Timothy to fan into flame the gift of God that was in him. Of course, the greatest part of God's gift, the foundation of all of his gifts, is the gift of salvation, given to us purely by his grace. And since Paul's been reflecting on, on this, in these verses we're reading today, he sort of breaks into an expression of praise to God for the glory of salvation. This occurs a lot in Paul's letters as he's talking about the things of God. He just breaks into these wonderful moments of praise for the salvation God gives to us. So that's what he's going to do here in verses 9, 10, 11, and 12. Uh, so here are these wonderful words of Paul. He says, God has saved us and has called us to a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and his own grace. Now, this grace was given to us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. And of this gospel, I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher. That's why I'm suffering as I am, yet this is no cause for shame. Paul makes it quite clear that it is God who saves us, and his salvation moves us into a life of holiness. It's all by grace. It's not because we think we have done or could do. It's not because we're worthy of it, but we're worthy of it. But all by the grace of God, he has saved us and made us into his holy people. Now, this was God's planning from the beginning of time. That's why he says it's given to us in Christ Jesus before time began. It was in God's plan forever. But at the perfect time in history, at the right time, it was revealed to us when Jesus came, when Jesus appeared, when the Son took upon himself flesh as Jesus of Nazareth and revealed to us God's plan of salvation through himself. Now, Jesus has come to destroy death by dying for us on the cross and rising again, he destroyed the power of death over us and brought light and immortality and life to us all through the gospel. This is the glory of salvation. This is God's eternal plan that by his grace, he would rescue us from the result of our own sin. Through Jesus Christ taking our sin and dying on the cross, rising again, he destroyed the power of death over us a power death had because of our sin, but that is now destroyed by the sacrifice of Jesus. And life and immortality have been given to all of us through the good news in Jesus. This is the gospel. This is the heart of what we preach. Paul says, I was appointed to be an apostle of this, a preacher, a herald, a proclaimer. And I have done that. I'm suffering for it. He says, the reason I'm a prisoner in Rome is because I stand for the gospel of Jesus Christ. But there's no shame in that. I'm not ashamed. I don't, I don't care whether I'm a prisoner or not. My life is bound up through faith in Jesus. So is yours. And I will continue, even as a prisoner, to proclaim this good news of Christ Jesus. What a glorious expression of praise this is in this letter of 2 Timothy. As Paul breaks out into the wonder of the gospel, from the foundation of time, God had planned to save us through Jesus. And at the perfect time in history, Jesus came as our Savior, defeating death and opening up the way to eternal life for us all. And all we need to do is believe in him. You see, he does the work of salvation. He does it all. He saves us. All we need to do is put our trust in him. And Paul says, this is what I've done. This is what you've done, Timothy. And this is the message we now proclaim to the world that in Christ we can all be saved. God has saved us and called us to a holy life all through faith in Jesus. Amen and amen. It's a wonderful gospel we've heard, wonderful gospel we've believed, and a wonderful gospel we proclaim to the world that we're all saved through faith in Jesus. All we need to do is believe in him. Amen and amen. Join us tomorrow for our next session in our five-minute Bible study in the book of 2 Timothy.